new psychological study from the National Institute of Mental Health. Just this morning, the world was a long time psychiatrist. The circle of depression is growing wider, broader. 15% of women suffer from this disorder. Abnormalities in the neurotransmitters. Got a problem, they've got a drug. Six million American kids take prescribed medication. But what if the criminal is mentally ill? The punishment, a form of aversion therapy. Standing yeah. cures on the show, but I want to Oppositional defiant disorder. Schools criticized for over six Everywhere you look, there it is. Think psychiatry has nothing to do with you? Think again. The whole field of psychiatry has gotten into every facet of your life. They basically believe that everyone is mentally ill. You smoke too much, it's a disease. If you're too unhappy, it's a disease. If you're too thin, it's a disease. If you're too fat, it's a disease. Where are these coming from? These are coming from the minds of psychiatrists that are dreaming these things up writing papers and, get, and getting published with their names on it, calling, creating these new diseases. First he said that I had ADD, then he said that I was depressed, then he said I might be bipolar, but I don't have ADD anymore. And he said, you know, I've been noticing you and I, I wonder if you have it too. What they decided is that both my husband and my son had a chemical imbalance that needed to be corrected with a chemical balancer. There is not one shred of credible evidence that any respectable scientist would consider valid demonstrating that anything that psychiatrists call mental illness are brain diseases or biochemical imbalances. It's all fraud. There is no reliability of diagnosis and there is no science. It's just pseudoscience. It's pretend science. This is one of the most open secrets in all of America in the psychiatric field that nothing, nothing, is being done this legitimate and they're billing for it. Psychiatrists claim that over one billion of the world's population is mentally ill. In the past 30 years, they have prescribed psychiatric medications to 543 million people. And right now, they drug 17 million school children with stimulants and antidepressants. When recently asked about the scientific basis of their profession, those psychiatrists willing to be interviewed offered no nothing but excuses. Psychiatric uh, uh, illness is, uh, is not really an uh, illness. How do you uh, evaluate if someone is cured or, or sick? Cure is certainly something we look forward to and we had no earthly idea how to accomplish. We're not good at causes. We don't know what causes mental illness. But that hasn't stopped them from pronouncing themselves mental health experts and treating people against their will. And the results? This psychiatrist, man who's supposed to work to heal people, has done nothing but destroy this man's life, and in destroying his life, destroying the lives of all of his loved ones. Excuse me. They've damaged and ruined my son, and they've trapped him in a system. The way that they treated him and made him feel like he was worthless. Ryan was being kept dumb and, and high on Ritalin so that they could make $2,500 per month. He gave me Valium and um, I got addicted to it. It wiped out my life. My life has been ruined. Uh, my joy has been stolen. She was lying there. She took two two gasps of air and died right there in front of me. It is really tragic, it's awful, and it's being done for money, that's why it's being done. Oh, it's gotta be in the billions. I don't know the exact number, but it's gotta be in the billions. It's, it's just unbelievable. This is so big that it's, it buckles the mind. Take the human tragedy you have just seen and multiply it by the millions. In the past four decades, nearly twice as many Americans have died in government psychiatric hospitals than in all U.S. wars since 1776. Insurance companies pay out $69 billion every year for psychiatric services, doubling the cost of medical insurance premiums. And while raking in over $2 trillion annually, psychiatrists cannot point to a single cure. 
Hard to believe? That's exactly what they count on. And as we will show you, it's how they have been getting away with it from the very beginning.